Ja, ja, to all my kumpels in Dusseldorf. Wir sind die schreckliche Nacht. Oh, what a lovely day to movie watch. On the docket today, um, an international film from, I think, a mostly Italian crew. More on that later. Susie Banyan just can't do anything right. Hello? Susie Banyan. Uh, I just got in from New York. I don't know you. Go away! Look, it's really raining hard. If you just let me in and I'll explain. Go away, go away! So she decides to... Susie Banyan decided to perfect her Wizard ballet studies witchcraft. in the most famous school of witchcraft. dance in Europe. She chose the celebrated Academy of Freiburg. Now she's got to learn the ropes and find her rhythm because the headmaster is none other than David Bowie. One, two, Little does Susie know, the world of musical wizard schools is loud and harrowing. <laughs> Featuring a whole lot of walking down magical hallways. I'm going, but try to understand that, that I'm blind, not deaf. Get it? Huh? And of course, a lot of really, really bright stained glass. With some help from her friend Ron Weasley. Not you, I hope. No. They were kind of wild ideas. She had discovered. Udo Kier as Tony Curtis. Can she pass class and hold fast? Er, solve some big gay mystery that involves a specific item and specific evildoer. And pass the annual health inspection. <laughs> I'm sorry. Barbara Magnolfi is Hermione. Are the names of snakes. Let Dario Argento guide you to the wonderfully beautiful world of Freiburg, Germany.
Dario Argento's classic horror mystery released in 1977, Suspiria sees Jessica Harper, a confused American girl. Uh, I remember... Stefania Cassini, an English-accented Italian. <coughs> and Joan Bennett. No, you didn't? The acting isn't great. What I mean to say is the acting kind of is great. But most times when anyone speaks but Jessica Harper, it looks and sounds like a, a Hong Kong film. You wouldn't understand. It all seems so absurd. So fantastic. Get away from here as soon as possible. Would you mind if I use the bathroom? I'd like... They are malefic, negative and destructive. Their knowledge of the art of the occult gives them tremendous powers. An obese man, a disgusting man who could barely stand up, a man who if you saw him on the street, you'd point him out to your friends so that they could join you in mocking him, a man who if you saw him while you were eating, you wouldn't be able to finish your meal. It's bad, but it doesn't, you know, drop you into a surprise room full of barbed wire or anything. And much like a bound drifter, it's much better when they don't speak. Characters remain undeveloped, omitting... I had no idea you were so strong-willed. I see that when you make up your mind about something, nothing will change it for you. My... Narrative is simple. Why is all this creepy stuff happening? Essentially, a girl goes away to school, and goofy events occur. Miss Tanner, I have something to tell you. Squawk, squawk, Polly Ferris. Who said that? Shut up! Squawk, squawk, squawk. Mata Hari is going to file her report. My name is Olga, and you're my tenant. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. They uh, tell me you have to give me $50 a week. Well, don't worry if you oh. think I'm not... Don't get hot under the collar. That's how people are here. No, this isn't Melrose 91210. It's Murder Rose. 10311. <laughs> At an eloquent dance school in Germany, an American girl, a recent enrollee, finds nothing but strange doings a transpiring and aerial mammal attacks. <laughs> Instead of an excellent dance curriculum. Based on all that, Suspiria receives a 4 out of 10. But, again, like a bound vagrant, if you bind his legs, he cannot stand, he cannot run. The two legs of this feature are the music and cinematography. Without them, this is a 4 out of 10 movie. With them, stand by. As you have undoubtedly heard, wait a bit! I want to love such a talk, you understand? I'm going. I'm going. But try to understand that. I'm deaf. Get it? Huh? Deaf. Deaf, you understand that? <laughs> you understand? The music is on par with the likes of The Shining, The Omen, maybe even The Great House on Haunted Hill. The remake. No, you didn't. The frenetic pace and jarring nature truly help to create a tremendously horrifying atmosphere, in tandem with the beautiful imagery. 
aside from Paul Winfield's boudoir, a ballet, or stage play, are the only logical reasons for the bold color displayed. The level of theater within the set design may be unsurpassed. Either consciously or not, you want to just wrap your hands around their... <laughs> the vivid colors help convey mood and subtle signs of impending doom. Pray ye that you never become witness to my red room. Which makes Dario Argento much more puzzling. The shots and the set are easily right up with Kubrick's films for, you know, sort of a dramatic cinematography. There's drama in the shots themselves. With that in mind, why haven't I seen this in any other Argento movies? Don't get me wrong, I know some come close. The Bird with Crystal Plumage, The Beyond. Argento has never flown as high as the bird with Suspiria. Suspiria, that is. Despite its numerous shortcomings, Suspiria's strengths are so good, the movie doesn't skip a peat. Beautiful views, exceptionally dreadful music, and good acting. When no one speaks. 8 out of 10.